Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm making spaghetti squash carbonara. Now, I have two spaghetti squash here cut into halves. So you wanna take all of the pulp out. Kinda messy, scrape it in the trash. Now it should look like this, before, after. Now we've got this ready to go. We're just gonna put a few little seasonings. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle. Then I'm going to do some seasoning, whatever you like, salt and pepper, onion powder. Then I'm going to rub it in and turn it face down. <coughs> the pepper got to me, and I don't think I recorded that last part, but hopefully I got it on my B-roll. Olive oil, seasoning, flip them over. Now I'm going to bake this in my oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, this is sort of the sauce. I don't even know if you would call it sauce, but you're gonna do four eggs. That's a bad one. If you hear any music, that's Elijah upstairs making his peas. So, got four eggs. We're gonna do a cup of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. Whoops, turns out that was about a cup. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pepper. One. And we're gonna mix this up and set it aside. Here we go. <laughs> pepper always makes me sneeze. That's that. All right, so now you're gonna take three packs of pancetta and we're gonna get it going in a nice big skillet. Biggest one you got. You wanna get this just hot and cooking. Now, I'm also gonna add chicken to my carbonara because my family likes meat. This is pre-made grilled chicken breasts. I'm gonna cheat tonight if you wanna grill your own chicken or grill extra chicken and then freeze it and save it, feel free. But I'm gonna chop up some of this. I'm gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. A little bit of red pepper flakes. All right, now it's starting to brown. I don't know if you can see that. It's getting like a really nice brownness to it. I'm going to add in my chicken. Okay, one of the ways that I tell my spaghetti squash is done is I, hold on. I pull it out and then you want to kind of push and see if it's like giving. And so like this one's kind of hard, that one's done. I'm just gonna rotate my pan and give these guys about five or 10 more minutes. Okay, my spaghetti squash are done and my meat is definitely done. Now I'm gonna add one cup of whipping cream. I know, not good for you, tastes delicious. One cup of whipping cream, and let that simmer for a minute. And now I'm gonna scrape my spaghetti squash. It's hot, so I like to get my big fork, like my meat fork, and then you sort of usually just scrape it into this, hold it with the towel, and then you should just be able to. Okay, there's my first one, and it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna do one more half. Oh, this is so, so good. Okay, I'm videoing. All right, now I'm gonna pour this in to my mixture. You wanna stir this around for me? Sure. Who's that? Let me turn this off. All right, here's the last one. Got this all stirred up, and now we're gonna slowly pour on our Parmesan and egg mixture, which we were supposed to use egg yolks only. I use full eggs. Hopefully it will taste it fine. So now I'm gonna incorporate this and let it cook. Also, I doubled this recipe. I'll put the recipe below in the half version. So cook, I'll turn the oven off. Your pan is hot. Only because you're touching it. It's not true. Okay, this is Where's not good. Where's your proof? Not good at all. Last step, Abby gets to do parsley. We turn the heat off. Stir it up. Don't 
don't turn it off. Now we're gonna put it in I the bowl, get off. the cheese that you like. Here right, we got some fancy cheese on top. Here we go. That is our bowl. That <gasps> is yes, our spaghetti squash carbonara. This is daddy's bowl. Oh. And um, thanks for joining us. It's very easy and very delicious. Gluten-free, gluten -free. keto friendly. And thanks for joining us on this lovely day. Lovely cooking day. And what do we want to tell the people? Subscribe, like, and comment. We'll see Hello. you next time.